Oh, 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 oh. So they're making a new new iteration of Hellboy. Yep. I liked the Guillermo del Toro Hellboys and um I sort of would have liked them to finish it off with a third one. Because there was talk of it being like a treacle, as planned as a treacle. But um, mm, this new one doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's, it's always it's funny. It's sort of the same dish, but just with slight variations. So you can't really get too excited about it. Some dads get their kids Legos. Uh, like, I, I sort of like the this um this kind of a pop culture -y vibe that it had yeah but still i'll probably see it but i'm not that excited about it have you read the comics no yeah I, i'm a huge fan of the comics i have the i have the uh <coughs> bound large versions mm. of them and i i think that mike mignola who did the who, who conceived the whole thing and basically wrote and and drew the whole thing is an absolute genius mm. in in terms of sort of visual storytelling. Um, I like Guillermo del Toro's Hellboys as well, mainly because I thought that Ron Perlman was a really good yeah. Hellboy. Uh, and <clears throat> but I thought when I saw the first Hellboy, I actually like maybe like the second one better than the first one. When I saw the first Hellboy, I thought that this isn't nearly as interesting as the comics mm. are. Um, I mean, it was all right, mm. and Perlman was really good. I mean, I think that Perlman really, really nailed the Hellboy character no. from the comics, because mm. he, he's, he's very much like... And David Harbour, I like him. I mean, I liked him in uh, Stranger Things, and I like him as an actor, but I think that based on this trailer, he's... He's more serious. Mm. He's less sort of likable no. as Hellboy and less relatable as mm. Hellboy. And that's not a good idea because, <coughs> or a good thing because Hellboy needs to be, he is this really, I mean, he's a demon, mm. but then he's, he's grown up on earth and he's, he's this really easygoing guy, basically. Mm. I mean, he's a badass, but he's, He's nothing like what you expect him to be. No. So, in that sense, it's difficult having this this combination and mm. then suddenly being a, a, a bit more serious. I wasn't crazy about this, and and now I also see that that because you see a lot of CGI in the yeah. trailer, uh, how good Guillermo del Toro actually is, mm. because in a lot of the CGI in this trailer just saw, seemed a bit. It seemed a bit subpar mm. uh, to my mind that that the 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 monsters and s stuff like that you can sort of i wasn't sort of <clears throat> immersed i didn't mm. believe in them yeah. as much as i did in in the in the in the previous ones um which is also a difficult thing because because the hellboy mythology is full of these different monsters mm. um the one thing that was probably going to be addressed in the in the third movie, which is addressed in this one, is that Hellboy actually goes back to hell and yeah. and, and receives his crown back and becomes mm. the demon that he was supposed to be. Mm. And there was this shot of him having this yeah. fiery crown, which is straight from the comics and straight from Hellboy. Hellboy goes to hell, which is the sixth installment in mm. the, in the series. Um, so they are going that way. Uh, definitely, but but what relation it will have to the Del Toro films is I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't really even know what. I, I mean, is Ian McShane playing the Trevor Bruton Holm character that that John Hurt played in the original I one? I think so. Yeah, there was mentioning of some fathers give their yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> and and John Hurt was so good in that role yeah. as well. So I like Ian McShane, but he's no John Hurt. Mm. Um, so I'm 
I'm awaiting with slight trepidation. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm also not hugely excited. I am excited about a Hellboy movie. I I th hope I'd hope that they'd really make a good one, because mm. because that is one of my favorite comics, and it's so visual. It's yeah. so. It, I I felt that it'd be hard to make a Hellboy movie. <clears throat> that would be because it's like it, it it's a bit like Sin City. Mm. That there's there's this black and white aesthetic that mm. is so strong and and immediately when you turn it into this kind of color scheme that mm, they've yeah. had in the in the movies the, it loses part of its sort of gothic mm. charm so i I'd, I'd actually hope it would be really cool if they made like a like a a sin city kind of type of yeah. i mean i mean Hellboy is colored. I mm. mean, they, it, it, there is color, but there's still there's so much. They play so much with the light and dark mm. and shadows and stuff like that. And I think that they've forgotten a lot of that when they've done these movies. That they that, don't. Yeah, that might have been actually a smart move because the thing that I was thinking when you were talking about the David Harbour Hellboy was that the problem with this movie is probably that they're gonna mm -hmm. try to differentiate it, it from the Del Toro movies. When, and that means that you have to take the characters into a different direction. And the thing that you just said about the visual aesthetic would be a cool way of differentiating the whole Mo movie. Yeah. Just making it really different. Yeah. But now uh, it seems like they're just going to like uh, nudge this character a little bit this way and this one a little bit that way. And um, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a problem also because Hellboy is not the kind of character that, you know, everybody's... No. 